In this video, I'll color grade the D-Log footage from a DJI Osmo Pocket 3 in a super easy and simple way. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. My name is Christian, by the way. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's go. Alright, so these are the two clips that we're working with today and these are shot on my Osmo Pocket 3 in D-Log and all the clips that you saw in the intro are all shot the same day, same time and basically graded exactly the same with the exceptions of some minor tweaks. Let me just remove these two and show you how this looks with the grade. So the first step was to convert this footage from D-Log to Rec. 709. Boom. And you can get this LUT. I will leave a link in the description below. It's all free, provided by DJI themselves. It brings back saturation, brings back contrast, and it makes the image look pretty nice. So I don't actually have to correct anything. This looks beautiful. So the next step was to add a color curve. And the reason why I added a color curve was to add a little bit more contrast and just play with the reds, greens, and blues. I'll show you guys in a second. But the reason why I did this is because First of all, I wanted to add contrast and then I wanted to mold the look that I was going for. Boom, this is how that looks. Before, after, before and after. So with the Luma, I added contrast, boom. I added one control point in the midtones and dragged down the shadows a little bit to add more contrast, right? Like that. And then I basically went into the reds. I added one control point here in the shadows and then I dragged this a little bit down like this to remove a little bit of reds in the midtones and the highlights. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's a little subtle change there that makes it look better for me, cleaner. And after that, I went into the greens here and I added a control point here to add a little bit reds in the shadows. Boom. I'm not sure if you can see it but there's a little change there that I liked. And then to finish this off, I added a little bit of blues in the shadows and the highlights. Boom, that's how that looks. Before, after, before, and after. So if you think this look is a little bit too much, you can drag this mix down a little bit. So there's not a lot of tweaks here, and that is the reason why I actually just graded after the LUT to tweak this LUT. And the last step here is to add a color wheel, and I dragged the global hair to the blue side, which means that I'm adding more blues to this whole image. And that is basically all that I did in this color wheel. Boom before, after, before, and after. And that is basically all that I did to end up with this image. Pretty happy with the results. On to the next. All right, so this is the clip without any adjustments. And this is the clip with all the grades and adjustments. So what I did for this clip basically was to copy all the settings and adjustments from this clip. So I hit Command C and then went to this clip, make sure that this clip is selected, shift command V to paste all the adjustments from this clip onto this clip. This is how that looks. And it's a little bit too dark because this clip was shot a little bit later than this clip. And also there's more ambient light here compared to this clip. So what I did here was to add step two in between where I added a control point and lifted the shadows a little bit as you can see here in the shadows, I dragged them up and boom. That's how that looks. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check me out over at Instagram where I post when I'm not posting onto YouTube. With that being said, have a beautiful day. Peace.